Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man army of two run and we are getting constantly beaten in the highest difficulty but we have only two soldiers uh, to withstand that onslaught of aliens. I invite you for the next guerrilla ops mission in Eastern Europe, Operation Amber Palace. I already mentioned we're going to spice it up a little bit so it's going to be Edgar, Alien Poe and Dragonova. I decided to go with double uh, blue screen rounds just because there had been so many uh, mechanical units and plus five damage is nothing to sneeze, uh, uh, sneeze at so uh, might as well use that for now. I also was considering whether or not Dragonova might want to use uh, armor penetrating rounds. That is really not too shabby. Um, specifically, we have a couple of uh, humanoid uh, enemies like uh, the Shield Bearer and Co., which start with four armor, and just ignoring that from the get go isn't really uh, isn't really bad. I think it's actually pretty good ammunition. Uh, blue screen rounds just does the job so much better against mechanical units, so that's why I'm usually using that. Um, and Advent soldiers are also not as, as dangerous as the mechanical units, thinking about the Spectre, the Gatekeeper, and to a degree also the mechs when they use their rockets. Um, the only um, unit that I can think of from the Advent uh, side, which is equ equivalently um, uh, dangerous, uh, could probably be the Psy uh, Priest due to mind control and um, stasis. Anyways, going into the uh, map, uh, this is going to be a bit different, um, just just way to approach the mission because this time we're not going in full force but rather keeping it as always nice and classy to the back we're starting in high ground that is a pretty pretty good decision oh wow our um, way until we reach uh, the train is quite a long. Moving up. Yeah, I think the high ground position up here isn't too bad. There's no cover. But still, it's high ground. Elite Trooper, Elite Mac, okay. Can we hit the mech? Yes, we can. Okay, perfect. So, might as well start that with a homing mine. mine deployed. Gives us an immediate kill on the heavy mech. Frees up some vision for us. Interestingly enough, it did not provide a death from above, which I would have guessed it would. Um, so, just going to eliminate uh, this guy, and we'll wait until the Elite Spectre does its turn. Tactical analysis. Oh, we were lucky here. I didn't know that it could actually hit us. That's why I would have probably shifted over an ex action to Edgar Allan Poe. So let's use Fanfire, beautifully, and have you seen the amount of damage, like 30 to 39, 
Um, we do have uh, the highest pistol, we do have pistol upgrades, we do have uh, plasma weapon upgrades on top of that, and uh, blue screen rounds. So it really adds up with uh, multi shots. Yeah, let's maybe position ourselves here. It's still high ground, but we do have some sort of cover. I don't like the idea that he's standing in the open. 15 hit points are not that much. One Andromedon with a crit could hit for 14. So if we were to tackle all of them with a the kill zone, then all we need to do is opening this here up with a nice little shrapnel. So that's one down. Good job. That's two down. That's three down. Worked like a charm. Volk says I am to obey. The target is marked. Advent Datapad, great. More intel. Hundred percent chance to kill the Viper. Yes, please. Hostile terminated. We're reloading. Just wondering, probably a little bit of a sting wouldn't be too bad. Just to shred it and set it up for next round. Pretty solid critical strike, by the way. One, two, we're leaving the gatekeeper alone for now, just a little bit. This here could be a crit and a kill. No place for you to go now. I would want to continue shooting uh, the shell. So Let's give him the second action, and this should soften up the shell just a little bit more. Which means we can finally kill it. Andromedon done. We still have three more rounds to go.
And the target is almost in sight, so might as well start the last pack. Shredding it nicely. So if we were to vanish uh, here, we would kill it right away. And I think that is totally worth it. Nice. Go on. Keep it going. The reason why I'm not afraid of being revealed is these here have tactical analysis, hence they can only move once and then nothing happens. Let's go. Oh, that might even be a kill. Okay, so we're looking at, uh, we can still use next round to uh, get the objective. Okay, let's go. Beautiful crit, by the way. You need to finish the mission. That's why this here has priority. Even if it means that we're going to take some damage. I like the scanning. Oh, nice. That's really good. More intel. Faster scans for all of uh, the um, items on the strategy globe. We've confirmed successful acquisition of the advent files. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. Okay, so advanced teamwork. So he has uh, the ability to move up. And now let's make sure we're killing it. Nice. Pretty solid mission. They still have problems with larger hit point packs. The burst is definitely better now, but um, although, I mean, probably um, I should just uh, add Untouchable to their repertoire. If they had Untouchable, it would be easier because uh, you can always negate like one hit per round 
And in this particular run, Untouchable is one of the best abilities that you could get. Nevertheless, pretty solid mission. Our friend from the resistance is becoming one of our most trusted veterans. It's a testament to our cause. Considering the limited resources available to you, Commander, you have still managed to exceed my expectations. Excellent work. Good. We got 50% scan time, which we should use. By the way, let's make contact here. We've located like the it. Hunter, actively working in this region, Commander. Just what are you and the Reapers up to, Commander? With 50% uh, scan times, also most of the items here on the globe really make sense to just collect. Abandoned loot, for instance, or assorted loot. Kind of a no-brainer for three days. Coming in for you now, Commander. I had Again, a very successful month. Under your it was month number 12, um, 15, yeah. Okay, new construction, alien step their construction efforts, reducing uh, facility counter by four weeks. I don't know, yeah, I'm not really afraid about that. So that's our next uh, sergeant. Let's get one more sergeant, because we still had a couple of rookies. Matter of fact, you know what, we can get four more sergeants. Might as well. well I'm certainly not fielding rookies. Improved swords. Nice. After the original wearer has expired is remarkable. That means uh, the katana can get an upgrade. Unusual behavior. The science is eager to begin, Commander. Well, I'm, I'm wondering if that also upgrades uh, the the damage of the Templar. If it did, that would be phenomenal. Because keep in mind that Templar uh, will be our main damage source. Okay, I think we scanned everything. Might as well go for more intel. Cool. Superior stock isn't bad, but I really like the 9 dodge even more. Okay, so promotion and um, a bit more combat intelligence. Bond threshold and aim, that's pretty good. We, are, we might go for this uh, in order to um, get the highest uh, bond between uh, Roby and... Uh, hog bite. Hacking plus five, health plus one, and the scientist. Hacking plus five, still not good. But we at some point need to start do, uh, doing this here. Enemy drops an additional item. Nah, it's okay. A bit late for it in the game. Mobility promotion. Another mobility and health. So, not really really good uh, rewards uh, which isn't which isn't the worst because it means we can uh, indeed use this here to add our advantage and get the higher bond level Roby and Hogbite would 
certainly benefit from it. Seven days is really, really short. We have no dodge this, uh, this round. We had a couple of health uh, items and we might as well start the hunt for, uh, for the hunter. We get all of the sergeants here. Long watch lightning hands. Yes, please. Okay, so far so good. All right, all right, all right. Wait a second. Set back the aliens' work on the Avatar project. We should hit one of their facilities as soon as possible. Well, Dragonova just returned, so we might as well hit one of their facilities as soon as possible. Heavy mech, sectopod. Looks like something that our uh, dynamic duo can do. Edgar Allan Poe and Dragonover could be perfect for this mission. And yeah, why not? I mean, both of them certainly can go into the mission. But that is going to happen next time when we're uh, tuning in. Um, it is probably the second last month, this month and maybe the next one, uh, depending on how uh, our uh, covert ops missions are proceeding. Once we find the last chosen, we can immediately go there. I'm not afraid. Uh, we, I'm, I'm pretty confident that we can uh, kill him. Uh, specifically with how boosted our characters are at the moment. Yeah, so it's all about going into this direction and getting kind of the highest level of training. Once that's done, we are ready to go. Thank you for watching. Uh, it was a fun run, as always, and see you in the next mission. Oh, and don't forget to give it a like and or subscribe. That helps the channel. Thanks a lot and see you. Bye-bye.